Good day, one Wolf last squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. I'm at Sydney Airport Terminal 2 and today I'm flying Virgin Australia 737 back to my home, Adelaide. This is the final leg of my journey as part of that Queenstown trip. If you haven't checked out my Air New Zealand and Qantas flights to and from Queenstown, check it out and uh, the links will be in the description down below. It's now 6 o'clock in the morning at Sydney Airport. Sydney Airport this time should be hustling and bustling, but due to the lockdown in Melbourne, the airport is eerily quiet. So I just checked in for my flight to Adelaide, and then when you want to go to security, you can just walk past those check-in counters. From here, you'll see the tarmac of Terminal 2, home of Virgin Australia. So after security, you'll find the Virgin Australia lounge on your right. So right now I'm in the Virgin Australia lounge. Today I have access with my business class boarding pass. So the lounge is quite busy but it's not crowded. If the Melbourne flights haven't been cancelled I can imagine it would be packed. So I just got a vanilla chai from the coffee station and then after that I went to get some food from the buffet area. Due to Covid it's not self-serve. So basically they display the food that's available and then you point to the staff what you want and then they'll hand it to you. So I only got a bowl of protein bowl they call it. We've got a boiled egg and some spinach. Now it's time to head to our gate for our flight to Adelaide. Our aircraft today is a Virgin Australia Boeing 737-800 Victor Hotel Yankee Whiskey Echo. It's one of Virgin Australia's youngest 737. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Just Thank you. I've got an aisle seat today, 2C. Unfortunately, it's full today in business class and I booked my flight last minute, so this is like the only seat they've got left. But window or aisle, the seat's the same, you get plenty of leg room. Well, it's actually not the same, you don't get the window. My name is Carmen, you're on board leader, and my team and I are very happy to have you with us today. Free streaming wireless entertainment is available, and you can access this on your own devices with our Virgin Australia Entertainment app. The Australian government has mandated the requirement for everyone to wear face masks. When boarding is completed, the cabin crew gave us welcome drinks. My neighbour and I both opted for water. I look so fat. There's free wireless entertainment on board this aircraft, but you will have to download this Virgin Australia entertainment app before you fly. Once in the air, you can connect to the Virgin Australia Wi-Fi, and then the Wi-Fi will enable you to only use the entertainment app. Within the app, you've got a good selection of movies, TV shows, and audio to choose from. Flight map is also available, you can zoom in and zoom out, just like Google Map. There's also flight stats available. Here's the menu for mainly economy class passengers, but if you feel like anything from the menu that's not available in business class, you can purchase them. In business class, you get a variety of drinks, including alcohol and a main meal. In economy, only free coffee, tea and water. No food is free. So now I'll quickly, quickly show you the seat features. Your tray table is in your armrest. You can open it and make it bigger. 
Between every two seats, you'll find two charging ports. Thank you. Thank you very much. So breakfast today, you've got two options. The first one being the turkey sandwich. And I opted for the salmon with potato, spinach and cherry tomatoes. It tastes really good for a home meal, but being in business class or in any restaurant, I don't think this is amazing. After the meal service, I got a white tea. Hello, welcome to Virgin Australia 737 Business Class Lavatory, just behind the cockpit. Not too bad here, the sink you can easily, easily fit in two hands. You sit down, leg room, quite good. Cook, surrounded by a mirror. So classy. After the lavatory visit, I went back to enjoy my sparkling water and white tea. And then I reclined my seat a bit and then started watching a documentary. I forgot what it's called, but it's basically a documentary colorizing the black and white footage of Australia in the past, I don't know how many years. It's a relatively early flight and most people are sleeping. I wasn't too impressed by our cabin crew today. Well, they're nice people and they're polite, but they didn't check up on the passengers at all after the meal service. Like my empty china mug has been sitting there for almost an hour. It wasn't picked up until we were almost about to land into Adelaide. And that means I'm going to conclude the trip report with Virgin Australia right here, right now. So overall, a very uneventful experience today from the airport to landing into Adelaide. The check-in was fast and easy. Likewise, security was fast, all thanks to the absence of Melbourne passengers. Once on board, I found my seat to be quite comfortable pretty wide and plenty of leg room. Our cabin crew today were actually nice, they actually did show initiative to help passengers to hang up their jackets and suits, but I do think they should check up on the passengers a bit more after the meal service. It was good to have a nice meal on Virgin Australia, the salmon was tasty but it wasn't amazing. Cabin crew be seated for landing. My neighbours said the turkey sandwich was absolutely delicious. Well I think that's it for the conclusion today, thanks so much for watching and here we are One World Fly Squad. When you fly again please don't forget to tag me with a special hashtag on Instagram so I see where your journey is taking you. You can follow me or like my Facebook page, Instagram and Snapchat. I offer memberships and plenty of perks on my Patreon and YouTube directly, you can have a look. I'll continue after we touch down. For those who are new to my channel, I upload a new video every Thursday, 12pm Hong Kong time. That's 1.30 afternoon in Adelaide, 2 o'clock in Sydney. So you definitely don't want to miss out. And 99% of the time, I do get a window seat. Thanks again for watching, and I'll have the Q&A at the end of the video. Take care when you open the lockers above and make sure that you have everything before you leave. Remember to maintain a safe distance between yourself and others as you disembark and throughout the terminal and please take any masks and wipes with you. At this stage we will be leaving through the forward and the rear doors and we will be using stairs at the rear of the aircraft. If you're not comfortable using the stairs, please stay seated until it is clear to leave through the forward door. Use the handrails on the stairs and as we will be refuelling, smoking and the use of electronic cigarettes is not allowed on the tarmac or throughout the terminal. If they are close by, you can now use your handheld device mode turned off. Just note that you can't use them on the tarmac. Before you leave us today, Virgin Australia would like to take the opportunity to recognise our First Nations people as part of National Reconciliation Week. Reconciliation is a journey for all Australians and as part of the National Week, we are encouraging everyone to take braver and more impactful action towards achieving reconciliation together. We acknowledge the traditional custodians of the land on which we operate and pay our respect to, respect to Elders past, present and emerging. On behalf of the team, we'd like to thank you for flying with Virgin Australia, have a safe journey, and we can't wait to welcome you back again soon. Oh my goodness, we'll see you later. Thanks, Thanks. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Bye -bye.
day one what fly score welcome back to my Q&A so uh, I'll get straight into it so the first question SB triple seven three hundred have you flown on a MD 11 no I haven't uh, a bit too young for that but I was really proud that um, when I was a plane spotter I did get a shot of a MD 11 it was at Amsterdam it was a um, KLM MD 11 the flight was boarding for Toronto and I was on a, a um, I was on a British Airways 767 next to that aircraft, waiting to fly to Heathrow. Um, yeah, that was amazing because KLM is like one of the last, if not the last, airline to fly the uh, MD-11 passenger plane. And I think I actually got their last ever MD-11 as well. Uh, DCH73, where did you get that opening and closing music from? So, what I do, I go to YouTube and I just search for, what do I search for? Um, I don't know, sometimes I type, obviously, no copyright, no copyright background music perhaps. Yep, and I, because my intro is like 5 to 10 seconds, so I cut like the best part, like the climate out of it. For example, my intro is actually this one here, and I got it from around here. Oh no, it's not. Bear with me. Yep, almost there. Almost, almost. Oh my no, fuck. There we go. Oh, it's actually 1am, I shouldn't wake my housemates up. <laughs> I-A-N-E-G-C, how's your cat? She's doing very well. She didn't wake up from that music. Hello. Hello there. And final question I've got today from ZLK Sam. If you're not flying back to Hong Kong this summer, what's your travel plan then? Well, whatever place I can go to, preferably somewhere new like a whole lot of New Zealand, also a whole lot of Australia, like um, Western Australia, sorry, uh, Northern Territory, well they're all in lockdown right now, but hopefully things will change very soon. Thanks for watching, see you next week, bye. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston. For your safety, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened and your cabin baggage stowed until the seatbelt sign has been turned off.